Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name's Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. This is my journey from living wage to wage, overdrafts, credit cards, you name it, to being a bit more in control of my finances using budgeting and cash stuffing. <coughs> so, huge apologies for yet another video. This week, I'm afraid, is going to be a bit of a bombardment because um, I have a few more to make bef before the weekend, basically. So... Um, but yeah, I just want to have a quick chat with you all about something. Um, so before I start, I just want to say a huge thank you. I mean, an absolutely huge thank you to everybody that has um, co commented on my planner. Um, it's just absolutely blows my mind that how many people have been so supportive. How many people have bought this planner as well? That's just absolutely crazy to me. Um, and all the lovely feedback that I'm getting from it. And, um, you know, and even people that are sort of saying that maybe I've done this or that the next time because um, I do like a little bit of con constructive criticism. Obviously, the book's made. It has to be as it is. But, you know, moving forward, I uh, might be able to adapt things if I bring out one next year again. Who knows? Um, well, that's a long way away. Let's see how we get on with this one first. But yeah, huge, huge thank you um, for all the support I've had on this. But this is not what we're talking about today. What we're going to talk about today is, <clears throat> move this out of the way, I have created <laughs> a Christmas budget planner. Now, this is way, way late. I am aware of that. As you know, things have happened and time just ran away with me. So um, yeah, I am showing this now in this video because I will be using this. I haven't started my Christmas sort of prep yet. Um, so I will be using that this month. Um, and there might be other people like me that haven't, haven't started yet. I might want to get on in it um, and like what they see. So I'm really basically showing you because <clears throat> I am going to be using it along with my videos over the next few weeks. Um, and I just thought easier to do a quick flick through so that you guys can see what it is because obviously you might just see a page here or a page here when I'm actually doing it in my in my um videos so yeah so we've got our little logo on the back this is a really good quality thick card in fact actually I think it might be a bit thicker than the actual budget planner pages but it's a5 it's a little sort of booklet a5 size <clears throat> so it's not um huge but it's got everything that I think I'm going to need it for the up to Christmas in it. So let's get going. In here, obviously, just to start, if you want to write your name in it, and I'm going to put the year in it because I'm hoping that when I've finished with it this year, I can put it away and then I can bring it out sort of October time next year when I'm starting to plan my Christmas um, so that I can just how see what i've spent and see what i need to spend see if there was any changes i made needed to make or whatever so um yeah so i'm going to put the year in there as i said we're very very out of date for this but it does have an overview planner for november and it has a to-do list and a little note section at the side um pretty much the same layout as is in my budget planner um but of course we are way past november now we're on the last two days I think there's a little calendar page as well <coughs> because um, people just do different things and they might want to use this for one thing and this for you know maybe this to record spending and then this to record activities and things like that um so that's why there's two pages and again we've got the same for December and the little calendar pages <coughs> Over here, we have a double page spread for the Christmas budget categories. So basically, it could be anything that you spend over Christmas time. Um, so, you know, it could be presents, food, clothes, Christmas jumper, uh, breakfast with Santa, anything that you spend and what how much you've saved for that event or category and how much your budget is. So the reason we have two is because for Christmas presents, I've saved £700, but my actual budget is only 635 and I've got like the um, £65 buffer. <clears throat> I do want to also try and maybe spend under the 635 but so then we've got the amount spent column, just so that I know where I'm at. And then I can look next year and say, okay, so I saved 700 
my budget was 635 but I actually spent 710 so therefore I need to change things or um my I saved 700 my budget came in at was 635 and I came in at 590 therefore I don't really need to save as much as 700 does that make sense and you can do that for everything and obviously bearing in mind the prices are going to change for next year as well but it gives you a rough guesstimate rather than like I'm doing this year I'm going in blind because I didn't budget last year at all for Christmas I just spent any money that I had on Christmas um <clears throat> I did try and be a little bit more thoughtful about the, the gifts you know like how much I was spending on each gift but you know, I couldn't tell you. I have no clue how much I actually spent. So that is that double page. And then on this side, I've decided to put in a Christmas card list because I am, I buy Christmas cards and then I don't use them or if, but I write them, I forget to post them or I don't have addresses to hand when I'm writing them <clears throat> and I have to text people for their addresses. And I do it every year. There's one couple that I send a Christmas card to and pretty much every time, every year, and the thing is, I know where they live. I, I could go visit them, but their address always escapes me. So I thought then it's in this book and I, when I'm pulling it out for next year from my budget, I'll have all that information too. So you've got names, um, the address, you get two lines for address. And then I've also got a scent box here because I'm terrible, as I said already. I'll write a card, need to look for the address, then forget the address. And then I end up forgetting to give the card as, as well. So that's what we have there. And then on this page, I've done a hand-delivered one. So this could be for, um, you know, neighbours and people that you would see in the run-up to Christmas that you would just give a card to. So for me, it'd be like clients, um, parents, you know, all that kind of thing. And again, it just makes you realise how many cards you need to send as well um, because we can under-budget and then have to go out and the only ones are the expensive one left or, you know, we can over-budget and end up with far too many cards. And then that way you would know... <clears throat> you know, where you're kind of going. Um, my phone's going crazy, I do apologise. Um, Christmas present list. So basically that is just another double page spread. So it'd be the name of the person that you're buying for. So say it's my dog, Piper. Her budget is 25 because I've got 50 saved for both her and Floss. So it'd be 55. And then I would just tick when I've bought her gift or when I'm done buying her gifts because I might buy her more than one thing out of different shops. Um, and how much I've spent in total and delivered obviously is obviously not the dog because she'll just get hers on Christmas morning when she wakes up. But, you know, like for me, um, like sometimes I'll have to post a gift. Sometimes I'll have to give gifts to another family member because they're going to go and visit with a family that's not close by. That kind of thing. So I really hope that makes sense. Um, so again, just a double page, page, page spread. I mean, if you have small handwriting, you could probably even buy write what you've bought in these boxes if you so wished. Uh, <clears throat> on this page is basically the... Christmas present spending tracker so for here uh, the thoughts behind this page was just a bit like an expense tracker for presents but if anybody's like me you maybe buy one thing one day another day you might buy something else so um, I know that I'm going to buy a couple of things for my boyfriend on Amazon so I might have his hit name there what I bought um, and the amount and then when we go shopping on like a Sunday, I might buy, pick up some chocolate. But by then I've had the dog, I've had one of my nieces, my dad, my mum. And then I could have his name again. So I've got A. And then um, I got all this Christmas chocolate and the amount that that came to. And then these pages are a little bit thicker than the um, planner pages. So they probably would take a highlight as long as you weren't too heavy handed. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I would just highlight all of his in blue, say. And then I would be able to tally up how much I spent at a glance more easily. Um, and then that just keeps me on track because sometimes I do buy four or five gifts to make up, you know, a present. And just would then keep that on track. Over on this page, we have Christmas activities and events. Again, a double page spread, but you'll see that they're four different things. So you've got days out. So that could be if you were going to, um, <clears throat> like, I don't know, go for a Christmas tree. To, like, I don't know what they have for the kids nowadays. But, you know, like, I know that down in London, they have that big sort of festival with the circus and shows and all that. Or... Um, you know, you could have like a, 
uh, we have um, like a big charity fair um, <clears throat> sort of day that has like all sorts and games and things for the kids and all sorts. So, you know, that could be in there and my budget to spend and all that. Nights out, obviously your Christmas nights out with work or your friends or family, how much you're budgeting for and how much you spent. Events, um, you know, that could just be things like going, I suppose, days out. But maybe it wouldn't be a full day out, but if you were going to have breakfast with Santa or, you know, things like that. And then obviously to, for us ladies and gents, treatments, obviously get when Christmas nails doing, people can get their hair done. And if they're going for a night out, they might want to get makeup doing and, you know, that kind of thing. And again, it just keeps you on track so that you know next year at a glance, okay, I had three beauty treatments and I spent, you know, £70. <laughs> That'd be hopeful. Um, but anyway, and then on this page, I did make a little bit of a boo-boo and we don't really need a date column for this one, but I just can use the same format. But again, just Christmas spending. So clothing could be Christmas jumpers or party outfits or your night out outfit, you know, that kind of thing. Um you don't really need to date but your budget and how much you spent if you're needing new decorations if you're needing wrapping paper and cards because sometimes we forget about these two things um <clears throat> and you know they, they just get thrown in the shopping we have no idea how much we spend on them and then you go in the loft the next year and you find last year's uh wrapping paper and you didn't need to buy it all <laughs> that's what i'm like anyway so then on this page it is the christmas meal planner so we've got from Christmas Eve right through to New Year's Day, the whole sort of week. Um, I would have liked to have put the second on, but I just didn't have enough space. But it's basically just um, breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. And you would it, sometimes through the holiday, you might have like people come over that you didn't see on Christmas or you're not going to see at New Year. And you might be making a dinner for them and that kind of thing. And just to help your shopping, because it gets quite stressful, I sometimes think, in this week. <coughs> um just with everything that's going on but, so that's there and then over the page we have our Christmas shopping list and I have left it blank for a reason so I don't when I do my shopping list I write my shopping list as if I'm going up and down the aisles so um if I need anything from like the festivities because they always come first in our store um like all the Christmas stuff or like books and like because of all my birthdays around and about Christmas, birthday cards, you know, that kind of thing, Um, if I'm going into a supermarket. So it's kind of to go with, like, the food shopping, this one, really, this page, to kind of to go with your your meal planner eh, on this page. <clears throat> but, yeah, so I would go up the aisle, so then, you know, you would go up your dairy aisle and then the other side, your cheese aisle and that kind of thing, whereas some people would go with um what you need for the fridge, what you need for the freezer, what you would need in tins, what you would need in your bakery section, what you might need in um, the alcohol section, the soft drink section, you know, all that kind of thing, the snack section. Uh, so just to give you an option um, on a blank page for that, and even just to jot down before you do your list, what sort of things you might even need for any recipes, you know, that thing. So I've basically left it blank for those reasons. And on this page, we have a double praise page again for the Christmas food shop. So I've written shop up here. Um, so like, you know, it could be Tesco. You went on such and such a day. Your budget to spend was then. And it could be Iceland. It could be Aldi, whatever. <clears throat> or you could change the shop and have it by meal. Um, so your budget for the Christmas day dinner was £70 and you spent... 85 you know that kind of thing but i'll just put shop up there just to give it a title but you can obviously just amend and adapt this from whatever way shape or form you need to i know that for my food shop i will just be going to tesco um because that's pretty much all the shops we have up here um and that's kind of where we shop every week so that'll be quite simple for me but I might do it over a few shops, if that makes sense. It won't just be all in the one. And then on our last page, we just have notes. And that is basically for anything that I maybe want to change for next year, anything that I've maybe not thought about and um, want to add, or, um, you know, just a note to myself for next year that I've left £20 in with a Christmas tree up in the loft to get a takeaway on Boxing Day or, you know, anything like that. I've never done that, but I do hear people do that. Um, or for when they're putting the tree up, they they put they get the twenty pound out and 
uh, or whatever money and help get, get a takeaway the night they put the Christmas tree up. But yeah, so that is the Christmas planner. It will be available on Etsy <clears throat> and I am going to put a wee discount on it this year just because it is coming into December. But I have them here available ready to buy now. Um, so... Uh, yeah, they're ready to go. So if you do want one, I can get that out to you ASAP. Uh, bearing in mind there is a few um, strikes as well. But different areas seem to have different strikes. So, you know, it might leave my area and get to yours area and there could be strikes on two days either side. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so that is that. Just the thought, I'll give you a walkthrough because it will be making an appearance in my videos um, over the next few weeks at least. But yeah, that's all I've got to say just now. Another 15 minute video. I do apologise, guys. I cannot be quick. I have another um, cash. I'm going to empty all my cash out of my binders. Uh, ready for, a, you know, just putting back into the bank because I've got too much cash. Um, So that will be another video. So I do apologise for that. And then obviously I will have my cash stuffing. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to work it. But over the next few days, there will be quite a lot of videos and I do apologise. I might try and schedule them so they're a bit spaced out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one. And thank you again for all the love and support I've had this week. I absolutely, truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye.